How did you feel when Theresa May cited you and your fellow laureates as um, almost evidence for the defence, as, as evidence that we could leave the European Union and thrive because you had won Nobel Prizes while we were in the European Union? You know, it, it, I'm sorry, but this just doesn't add up. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, it, it is absolutely true that Britain is great at science. I've never actually quite worked it out. I sometimes wonder if it's something to do with the weather, actually. I can't <laughs> think of anything, anything else, really. Because but it's indoor are, work. It's mostly I, indoor yeah, work. <laughs> literally. So, I mean, we are, we are good at science and have been for centuries, in actual fact. But the, the modern world, there's three main blocks of science. Let's just look at it. It's the US, it's China, and it's Europe. And uh, the Europe is um, is uh, probably the most important block of science these days, and the UK played a leadership role mm. in Europe. So what this meant is that the UK had an enormous influence on um, an impact on world science. Now, as a population of 60 million, we lose that, and we will uh, our, our we will put our reputation as world leaders in some jeopardy. It'll be more difficult to do. So I don't agree with the argument. We are in trouble. We have to try and protect science. But you won't answer this as a scientist, but on a scale of 1 to 10, how much trouble are we in? How much trouble, scale 1 to 10, yeah. is this causing us? Yeah, I potentially. Would say, I would say this is the biggest threat I have seen to science in the United Kingdom in all my life, which is now nearly 50 years of research. Good Lord. Oh, that was me thinking you wouldn't answer. So, Paul Nurse, many thanks indeed for your time and your um, rather grim warning. It's coming up to 12 noon. You're listening to James O'Brien on LBC. So, Paul, if you've just tuned in, is a Nobel Prize winner and a director of the Francis Crick Institute. But at this point, of course, I should remind you that there's no way he knows as much about science as Nadine Dorries and Jacob Rees-Mogg do.